Hi everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, analytics advocate at Google. And today I'm joined by Praveen Krishnan, who is a product manager on Google Optimize. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks Krista, glad to be here. And in this quick tip, Praveen is gonna tell us about some of the new personalization features in Google Optimize. Now I know I am super excited about this. It's something that has been a long time coming. So Praveen, I'm gonna hand it over to you and let you take it away. Yeah, thanks Krista. Yeah, we are very excited about um, introducing the personalization and this is one of many new features that we have lined up uh, to help you drive more conversions on your uh, on your sites. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna dive in and show you what, uh, what we have on personalization. Let's say you have a business that's a furniture store and you have a, an elegant simple page this way and you've decided you want to do introduce a new product for your California customers. Now you're not experimenting, you just decided you want to do this. So let me show you how you can set that up in Optimize. So in the Optimize interface, you have a button called Create Experience. So if, if you notice that we're, we're, calling, we're calling it experience instead of experiment. An experience in Optimize is either an experiment or a personalization. So in this case, we're gonna create a new experience. So I'm gonna say my hot new California product. And then I have my editor page set up. And you can see here, these are the experiment types, but we have a type called personalization. So we're gonna create a new personalization. Now you're in the personalization screen. At this point, you could start by making the changes that you want, or you could start by adding a targeting rule. Let's start with creating uh, changes to our site. So our site loads up in our, in our friendly visual editor and I'm going to change this text here. I'm gonna say custom furniture from organic California driftwood, because we know everybody likes that. That sounds perfect for California. <laughs> and I'm gonna make that a little bigger. There we go. And we're gonna save that and we're done. So if you've noticed, this is exactly how you would create your uh, variance in your experiments. So it's, it's very similar. There's no, not much different there. Now, once you're done with your site changes, you would come in and decide on what your targeting rule is. You're gonna click on add rule. And since we said we're only gonna show this personalization for California visitors, we're gonna click on geo. And then I'm gonna choose a region. I'm gonna say California and we're done. So you have your site changes, you have your URL that's matching, and you have your region set up. Let's save that whole thing and then hit start. At this point, we're gonna ask you if you wanna be notified about this. It's usually a good idea to stay notified. So you keep that on and then you hit start. Awesome. So I think this is a really simple and easy way to take what we already know and love about Optimize and now apply this to being being able to create an actual personalized experience for our users. And I, I think that's awesome if I know what I wanna create out of the box, like your example. But what if I have a test that I've already run, um, that I had some really good results for, that I would like to actually make into a personalization for a specific audience? Is that possible? That, that's a great question, uh, Krista. And this is something our customers have already been doing in the past. They, mm -hmm. they This is what they wanna do and they've kind of worked around the product, uh, but now we've, we've introduced a new way to do personalizations where they could just do that really, really quickly. Awesome. Let me show you how to do that. Great. So let's go back into the product and I'm going to go back to my, my list of experiments and experiences. And you can see here that I already have an experiment running where I'm running a discount experiment. So let's go in there. Now let's say that this is an experiment that's been running for a while, either there is a leader for it, or I, I just like the uh, reporting that I'm seeing, it's, it's showing me quite a high probability to convert. And I decided I'm gonna go with this. So at this point, I could just click on this menu here, and it's going to show me these options. The first option in one step ends the experiment and creates a new personalization and deploys that. Mm -hmm. The second one keeps the experiment running and creates a new personalization for you that you can then edit, make more changes, and then deploy it when you decide um, that's good. Let me show you really quickly how that works. I'm gonna say end and deploy. 
It's going to ask me if I want to change the name for it. And it's going to ask me if I need to do some additional reporting in uh, Google Analytics. Let's click that and continue. And as you can see here, it automatically ended the previous experiment, started a personalization, and you're off and going. Now, the good thing here is because it's a personalization, it's no longer bound by the 90-day limit that we have for experiments. Mm -hmm. So this could run as long as you'd like it to run or until your teams decide to put it into their own CMS systems. That's awesome. And that was so easy to do. So Praveen, thank you so much. I think you've showed us two wonderful ways of getting started with personalization in Google Optimize. I know I'm super excited to jump in and try these out, and I hope you guys are too. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.